Guess who's watching our weather right now? That is Brittany Rainey with some really concerns about what we're seeing right now. Yes, we are tracking severe thunderstorms that have made their way south from Oklahoma. We were tracking those storms in eastern Oklahoma around 530 this afternoon, and models did take all of these storms just clipping our northeast areas. But the storms developed a little bit further west, and now they're heading more due south. So that is going to bring them right through parts of the Metroplex, moving into Collin and Denton counties, and this is also going to continue to track south down to Dallas County. We're even getting that gust front out ahead of these storms. That will be arriving in Dallas here in about the next half an hour. So we're going to see those strong winds and notice severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for all of these cells. So we're going to start from west to east for you. Cook and Grayson County, that severe thunderstorm warning until 11 of 15. We are looking at the potential of golf ball size hail and winds up to 60 to 65 miles an hour. So that's tracking down to the south at about 30 miles an hour. That's going to put it in Frisco around 10 of 51. The colony about 10 of 57. Notice we do have a lot of lightning associated with these thunderstorms. Also some quarter size hail reported and power lines reported down up along the Red River and Sherman as these storms moved through. So this severe thunderstorm morning until 1030 p.m. for Collin, Denton, Grayson and Hunt counties. And that's also tracking down to the south at about 40 miles an hour. So we'll be moving into Heath about 10 of 43. Willis Point about 10 of 53. And then we're also seeing this cell right on the eastern fringe, and this is tracking a little bit more down to the southeast. But this has continued that severe thunderstorm morning for Delta, Hopkins, and Lamar until 11 p.m. And this is where we are looking at that quarter size hail and 60 mile per hour winds as well. And this will be headed over towards Mount Vernon around 1046 p.m. and then Leesburg closer to 1105 p.m. So they also extended that severe thunderstorm watch in effect now for Dallas over into Kaufman, Rockwall, Van Zant counties until 1 a.m. as well as these storms are holding together, working their way down to the south. But luckily they have weakened from what they were in Oklahoma when we had reports of tennis ball size hail. Now we're mainly looking at that that quarter size hail and still very strong wind gusts, but temperatures still sitting in the mid 80s in Dallas and Fort Worth. Notice that rain cooled 60s and 70s up along the Red River. So overnight temperatures will fall into those upper 60s to around 70 degrees. Tomorrow, if you have any upper respiratory issues, you are going to want to minimize your time outdoors because we do have that ozone action day in effect once again. But behind this rain, we are looking at some slightly cooler air. That's going to keep our temperatures around 90 two degrees for tomorrow. So we're not looking at another record setting afternoon on the way, but we are going to be tracking more rain chances heading into next weekend as another cold front heads our way. But we will see more upper 90s on the way Tuesday through Friday, and then those rain chances creeping back in next weekend. We'll continue to have more on the storms for you coming up.